Hey everybody, this is Captain Philip with Airworthy Tours, your guide in the sky. And today we're taking a tour of the Garden District. This wealthy New Orleans neighborhood is known for its historic mansions. But before we get started, if you'd like to be a part of future aerial tours, please consider subscribing to the channel. We are clear for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the tour and the music. Most of the area that makes up the Garden District was part of the Levatus Plantation. In 1833, parcels of land were sold to wealthy Americans who did not want to live with the Creoles in the French Quarter. It was part of the short-lived city of Lafayette before being annexed by New Orleans in 1852. If you are staying in downtown or the French Quarter, you can easily access the Garden District by taking the St. Charles streetcar line. At $1.25 for a one-way, or $3 for a day pass. It is the oldest continuously operating streetcar line in the world and has been in operation since 1835. Garden District mansions have two predominant styles of architecture. The first is Greek Revival, which is characterized by the symmetrical shape, low roof lines, and columns and pediments. This style is meant to mimic the ancient Greek temples. The second half of the 19th century saw the arrival of the Italianate style. A good example of this architectural style is the Morris Israel House below, which recently sold for three and a half million dollars. Italianate architecture is characterized by wide projecting cornices with heavy brackets and richly ornamented windows, porches, and doorways. Ahead is the Walter Grinnan Robinson House, built in 1859 and is the work of New Orleans most famous architect, Henry Howard. The house is 10,000 square feet and was one of the first homes in the city to have indoor plumbing. It currently sits on the market for $5 million. The median home income in the Garden District is $127,000 with a population of 12,000. Next is the Colonel Shorts Villa, also designed by Henry Howard, built in 1859 for Colonel Robert Short of Kentucky. In 1862, the house was seized by Union forces after the capture of New Orleans. It was returned to Short in 1865, where he lived until his death in 1890. What is most unique about this house are the cast iron cornstalk fences. Next stop is the Carroll Crawford House. This colorful Italianate house was constructed in 1869 and known for the lavish parties thrown by its owner, Joseph Carroll. Mark Twain was a frequent guest of both the house and the parties. The property also contains a carriage house. Below is Commander's Palace, the Garden District's iconic restaurant. Celebrity chef Emeril Lagasse's culinary career began at Commander's Palace. For lunch, Commander serves 25 cent martinis and the dress code is extremely strict. The dress code looks something like this. A link for the restaurant will be in the description box. Right next to Commander's Palace is Lafayette Cemetery Number 1, which was built in 1833. We have a full video tour dedicated to the New Orleans cemeteries, so make sure to check it out. Speaking of spooky, below is the Payne Straction House. Under this roof is where former Confederate President Jefferson Davis died of malaria in 1889. 
It is reported that his spirit still haunts the building. Ahead is the Buckner Mansion, built in 1856 by Henry S. Buckner. The 20,000 square foot mansion was built to outdo his ex-business partner's well-known Stanton Hall Mansion in Natchez, Mississippi. The mansion was featured heavily in the TV series American Horror Story Coven. and is one of the most photographed houses in the Garden District. Below is the Brevard Rice House, built in 1857 for Albert Hamilton Brevard. It is said to be haunted by Brevard, who shot himself on the porch. It was purchased by Emery Clapp in 1869, who added the library wing on the left it remained in the Clapp family until 1935. In 1989, the house was purchased by novelist Anne Rice and is the setting for her novel, The Witching Hour. Other notable residents of the Garden District include Saints quarterback Drew Brees, actors Sandra Bullock, John Goodman and Nicolas Cage and football royalty the Manning family including Archie Payton and Eli. Below is the Women's Guild of the New Orleans Opera Association. Built in 1859 the original home was purchased by Dr. and Mrs. Herman de Bachel Siebold in 1944. The Siebolds donated the mansion and its furnishings and art to the guild in 1965. Ahead is the Nolan House, where much of the filming of the curious case of Benjamin Button took place. The 7,800 square foot mansion has six bedrooms, a music room, a library, and a reception hall. Filming took place in virtually every room in the house. Below is the George Washington Cable House. Cable was a notable writer whose novels and stories brought Creole culture to national attention. The house was built by Cable in 1874. If you're in the Garden District area and you're looking to shop, eat, and drink, make sure to check out the nearby Magazine Street. This street runs for a couple of miles and is full of activities. A travel guide will be provided in the description box. If you enjoyed today's tour, you can tip your tour guide by hitting the like button. Also, make sure to check out some of our other aerial tours in New Orleans. Thank you for flying with Airworthy Tours, and we look forward to seeing you on our next flight.